January 29, it seemed right. Lead me in the way everlasting. Psalms chapter 139, verse 24, New International Version. I was showing Melissa a favorite special and secluded spot my father had loved in Stanley Park, British Columbia. After introducing her to the rock etching of poet Pauline Johnson and a recitation of a favorite poem, West Wind Blow from the Mountains, we settled down on a redwood bench of V and V. Veg and view, as Melissa liked to say. That's when we saw it. At least a centimeter in length, the segmented amp body exuded confidence. Its initial trajectory was toward a bank of ferns and delicate forest flowers, bordering the opposite side of the sand packed walkway. I'll call it ABC, said Melissa, watching intently, and British Columbia. ABC was motoring along well enough initially. Twelve centimeters into its journey, the ant turned a right angle and wandered erratically. Next, it made a U-turn traveling in a series of half circles. Melissa grabbed a twig and, drawing a straight line to the bank, nudged ABC toward it. ABC tumbled over the edge of the straight path, righted itself, and walked a few inches towards the opposite bank. Look! cried Melissa. I made a path and ABC is following it. Dream on, I thought. ABC climbed back over the edge of the path and began a set of zigzag machination. Melissa placed twigs on each side of the path, built higher sand edges, and gave verbal directions. Obviously, there was a language barrier. Two of ABC's cousins are following the path, said Melissa. Not ABC as it made an about face and arrived back at point A. I thought answer wise, this is pathetic. ABC has wasted a great deal of time and energy to go nowhere. It could have already been eating lunch by now if it had followed my path. Like how humans, I suggested. Scripture lays out for us a clear path. But so often we deviate from it. Wandering here and there and sometimes arriving back where we started. No closer to our original goal. Thirty minutes later, we rose to leave but ABC was still immobile at the corner of the redwood bench, no closer to the bank of ferns and delicate flowers, and lunch. Too bad, Melissa said, shaking her head. I tried to direct ABC towards the right way, but silly it had a mind of its own. Lord, I breath, renew my mind. Help me to follow the path and avoid unnecessary detours. Lead me in the way everlasting. Arlene R. Taylor <laughs>